Michael Johnson says that he thinks they can run it back. Blake Corum said he thinks those guys can run it back. Obviously, he's not coming back. If he did, if he did I, man, I may put him at the favorite. And speaking of that, way too early rankings come out after the national championship game. Rounded up nine different outlets that did them. Michigan comes in with an average of 4.4, uh, but six of the nine had them at four or three. The other three having them at number six. Um, so right there in the mix. It's so early that you don't really know who's coming back for any of these teams in the country. It's so early that they put these out before Nick Saban retired. So, so many moving pieces, but you know, we kind of alluded to it earlier. There's still a lot of talent on this team that's going to be coming back either way. And, you know, especially from a defensive standpoint, I think that they're going to have a chance. Now you're going to have to get some guys to come back, have some guys step up and bring some guys in, I think, from the transfer portal like they did this past year. Well, what a job when you look back at it. You're going to have to do something similar. Um, but, you know, they, they've got a real chance of competing again for the national title. And you think even with that tough schedule, a good shot of being in the 12-team playoff. I agree with that. And uh, especially, again, if you get some of these guys back, uh, you need a quarterback, right? If, if J.J. McCarthy doesn't come back, then you better go out and get one. But I think they will. They've got, again, they've got the money in there to do it now. And um, to me, they need a receiver as well. Uh, I, I do wonder, though, when I, when I look at some of these guys that transferred out, Andrell Anthony, I wonder what he's thinking today. Would I rather be a national champion or would I rather be, you know, and, and obviously, you know, he could have gotten hurt anywhere. You know, he was being featured a little bit more at Oklahoma, but that was turned out to be a dog shit team uh, when it was all said and done, comparatively speaking. Uh, what would you rather have? Give me the ring, fellas, and then go on to the NFL and prove yourselves. If you're if you're good enough, then you're going to prove yourself. Look at Nico Collins. You know, uh, what he's doing now. Yeah, maybe he didn't get the targets that he thought he was going to get here. But uh, Donovan Peoples-Jones is kind of who he was in college. Uh, but look at Ronnie Bell and what he's able to accomplish out there and sticks on the team. And he's going to have a long NFL career. So, you know what? It's not always, always about showcasing yourself. It's about what you can do with a team still. That's what separated a lot of these guys to me on this Michigan football team. They were so selfless. And again, why I'm getting a little bit teary thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, in terms of way too early rankings, uh, we don't even know who's on this team yet next mm -mm. year. We don't know who's coaching this team yet next right. year, um, to be frank. So we'll see what happens um, uh, in terms of those rankings. I haven't even really poured through them yet. But uh, you know, like I said before, I think you can really talk, you know, you can make the case that, you know, if a J.J. McCarthy comes back, if Donovan Edwards comes back, I think um, obviously offensive line is going to look different. I think maybe you have some questions at wide receiver now. Um, with Roman Wilson presumably going to the senior role. Again, none of that stuff is official yet until they officially declare and submit the paperwork uh, on January 15th, but senior bowl. There's been some confusion about the senior bowl too. I wanted to bring that up really quick as, as a bit of a, an aside. You cannot commit for the senior bowl and then come back to school after, like once that January 5th deadline hits, you are in the NFL draft because all of that paperwork has to be submitted to the league and the teams. 15. Yeah. Uh, the 15th. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. um, so again, I mean, there's a new rule with the senior bowl where they would, they could invite underclassmen, uh, which is, which is a little bit different, but no, you cannot go play in the senior bowl on February 3rd and decide to come back at school. So a um, little bit of an aside there, but important to note, cause I had gotten some questions about it, but they can pull out of the senior bowl, right? Before, yes, the 15th. before January 15th, uh, okay. they have, you know, you commit to the senior bowl and, and get your spot, your mark, but gotcha. you could ultimately pull out and decide because they'll have guys that even the week of the game will decide to not participate due to injuries or whatever. So, and, and as we all know, pulling out sometimes is the best option. So, Christopher, no, of, of the senior bowl. Yeah. 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 Or, or to come back to school is what I meant, obviously. Yeah. 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 Come on, man. I, I got nothing sure. else there. So, yeah. For sure. Um, <laughs> Georgia. A lot of Georgia at number one in these rankings. Some Alabama, that's, again, before Nick Saban retired. I'm surprised that was even the case with everything that they're going to lose on that team. But um, you still had uh, you know, Michigan, for the most part, the number one team in the Big Ten. Oregon expected to be very good. Ohio State up there as well. Penn State, Washington, kind of in that you know 7 to 15 range. But, again, a long way to go. Oregon will retain Dan Lanning, it looks like, uh, not going to Alabama. So uh, we will kind of see what – everybody's rosters look like and what their coaching staffs look like as time moves on here in the offseason.